tonight. So it's been great to speak with quite a few of you already. Um, some really keen and enthusiastic people um, in the room as well, which is really great. So what I'm going to talk to you about is sort of um, how our application process works and a little bit about the firm. Um, we are a law firm. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our world and then the application process. So about Gowling, 3,000 people, uh, 1,400 lawyers, 18 cities worldwide, 400 million worldwide turnover, um, top tier suite of national, international legal services, growth ambition in key global sectors, outstanding client base, national and international, private and public sector. Uh, we were recognised for 18 consecutive years as a great uh, place to work, and we are committed to diversity and inclusion, and we recruit 25 trainees a year, which is 10 in our London office and 15 in our Birmingham office. Um, we do only recruit via our vacation schemes, which the application um, window is actually open now, um, and we do recruit those on a rolling basis. Um, so don't hold off on applications if you want to get them in. Um, and the deadline at the moment is the 15th of January. That also could change. So these are our two offices in the UK. So you've got um, two Snow Hill in Birmingham and four more London Riverside. Um, both new state-of-the-art offices. Um, really, really great places to work. And you'll find that there's a, a cross environment where it's all one office. So we don't say, you know, it's separate for Birmingham. Birmingham do it like this and London do it like this. It's all one, one firm. So this should give you just an idea of where we have um, connections and where, our, where we have offices. So if we don't have an office somewhere and our clients need one, we have um, something that we call a best friends network. So if a client needs a contact within a different country and we don't have an office there, we will most likely have um, a connection with another law firm and we would refer you on to them so that you can still get the work and the client's still getting the great outcome that they need um, to move forward in their matter. Um, services and sectors, um, we cover a wide variety um, and all in the key, key areas. And I know a lot of you have asked me, a lot of you actually this evening are quite keen on the um, sort of the energy and regeneration side. So that's really great to, to hear. Um, and it is something, something, certainly something that Gowling is, you know, quite, quite keen in, in being involved with. Uh, but that's just, a, a, you know, a little snippet of what we actually do and where we deal um, and you'll find sort of um, all that spread across both London and Birmingham. These are some of our key clients. You may have heard of um, one or two of them. Um, just, a, just a few people that we work with. Dyson, in fact, uh, we've worked with them for a long time. And the reason, actually, we opened up our Guangzhou office was because of the work we do with Dyson. We needed to be closer to them, to where the project was and where they were, where they were building. So um, Dyson was actually the reason that we opened up an office in Guangzhou. So this is a little bit about our brand. So um, you'll see this has been a complete sort of overhaul for our recruitment process as well. We sort of rolled our new process out last year. Um, so the firm is, is really big on its values. And it's, one of its values is that everybody brings something different. So um, and likewise, we don't look at your academic grades. You do need the degree, but we wouldn't look and, and say you haven't scored high enough on your academic grades. Um, everybody brings something different, so we welcome all wide range of degrees, so it doesn't have to be a law degree. Um, everybody does bring something, something different, and that is something that the firm really does try um, and impress on people. So quickly, briefly, um, about the application process. There is four stages to it. So the first stage is the short application form. Um, a lot of you have asked me this evening about um, the, the actual recruitment process. So within the application form, you will be asked about your work experience. Um, and that's not necessarily within law. If you don't have a law work experience on your um, application form, that's not going to put you at a disadvantage. Any work experience that you have, show the skills you've learned, show the, you know, the things you've gained from that, communication skills, interaction skills, anything like that. Show, put it on there. It's all great stuff. Make sure you research the firm when you're answering the pitch question, which is usually on there. Um, that will show a really good, strong answer of, you know, you've taken the time to look at the firm, you've read what it says about that certain area, um, and just include that into your answers as well. The next stage, um, if you get past the application form, would be your game-based assessment. Um, I can't tip you on this one on what you need to do and what you don't need to do, because unfortunately this is all actually um, natural traits, so it's your personality traits, it's your natural re responses to things. So I can't give you any sneak tips on that one, I'm afraid, guys. But it's all great fun. It's, it is actually a game, and it's all online. 
Um, it's a really exciting new process that we, we rolled out last year and it had some really great feedback that people really did enjoy that, that stage of it. Um, should you be um, successful then, you will come on to a video interview. Um, again, just take your time when, you, um, when you're answering the questions. Think about what you want to answer. As easy as it is for me to say to you guys, don't go off on a tangent. Um, try not to go off on a tangent. Um, think about what you want to say, direct your answer, and just make sure that you come back to that answer. And that's true with any sort of application video stage. Just try and make sure that you're answering what the actual question was and not just going off on a tangent and then thinking, oh, I didn't actually answer what they asked me. Um, and then the next one is a Be In Tune With Our World Assessment Centre. So it's an immersive assessment centre and it's a day in the life of, and you come in and you are treated like a trainee for a day. Um, you meet some of our trainees as well. Uh, they will come down and they have lunch with you and they sort of give you a bit of inside scoop on, on what life as a trainee is like. Um, they're, they're honest with you. They'll tell you, you know, there might be long days, but it's a law firm. You would expect that. There might There's great perks to it as well. Um, you know, you get your holiday. You get the chance to buy holiday. Uh, there are students. Uh, we pay for your GDL. We pay for your LPC. We do student grants as well. Uh, they have health benefits trying to think without giving you too much on the bingo card. <laughs> um, but yeah, so our training program is two years training contracts um, and we do uh, four seats, six months each. Um, you have a comprehensive induction when you start. Um, it's usually around three days um, and you would all come up to the Birmingham office for the first day and then you would be in the respective offices for the next two. You would get a supervisor in every seat. You're not thrown in and told to get on with things, you have a supervisor, you have a partner, and you have a buddy allocated as well. So we really are you know, keen on, on nurturing the talent, ensuring that they have a support system and that they have places they can go to ask. Um, and then there is our training principal who is actually new this year, um, and she's wonderful. She's really great. So um, we have that. So I'm not going to say questions, actually, because we're doing a Q&A panel, aren't we? So that's fine. So thanks, guys.